Hi there, welcome back to Still Waters ASMR. Today I've got another unboxing video um, for you all. So this is for um, items that I've purchased for my uh, my on its way baby, um, baby in progress. And these are items that I purchased from John Lewis because they had a sale. And I actually bought my car seat from John Lewis because the one that I knew would fit in my car um, was on sale. And when you're dealing with several hundred pounds of car seat, then it's worth buying on sale. And while I was on there, I saw that a bunch of other things were on sale as well. And they were all things that I had already bookmarked as items that I wanted to get. So I thought, well, I might as well just get them. And then there's some other essentials that were on sale as well. So I got them too. And uh, so I just thought I'd go through them with you today. So I'm actually going to start by looking at some of the other items that I purchased. So um, a friend sent me a link to a website that had like the essential baby items list. Um, it was like the things that you actually need for your child. And uh, I found it really useful because there's so many baby items out there to know the items I actually need to buy was quite useful. So one of the items that was suggested was having some soft face cloths or soft washcloths for bath time. And so John Lewis had this pack of five flannels, 100% cotton baby bath, and they're meant to be really soft. Um, and they were like originally five pounds, but they were on sale. I think it was like 10 or 20% off. Um, and so, yeah, it was less than a pound per washcloth, so it made sense. Um, and so I went ahead and got a packet of washcloths from John Lewis. The other item that I got that was on my essentials list was Muslin Squares. Now my husband always teases me because I always get the name of that wrong because I always want to say Muslin Squares with an N, Muslin, with an N at the end. But he always thinks I'm saying Muslim, uh, like Muslim Squares, like as in like the Islamic religion. Um, so he's always mocking me because he's like, it's not Islamic Squares. But it's just my pronunciation of it. Um, so it's, um, and I can never remember. So one of them's muslin and one of them's muslin. And I, I can never remember which one's which. And invariably, I always pick the wrong one. It's like the River Thames versus the River Thames. I always get that one wrong. Um, but anyway, that's, that's what happens when you're half Scottish and half American. You can't pronounce anything. I know what I mean, and I mean these things. Um, anyway, these things I can't pronounce are very important when you have a baby, because they come in useful for everything. Wiping up spillages, you can use them for nappies, um, all sorts. And so these were, it doesn't have a price on them, but again, I think they were like really reasonably priced. Um, and it says a true baby essential, these 100% cotton muslins, 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 whatever, are handy for mopping up spillages or for using as a comfort blanket or burp cloth. Um, and so again, it's a pack of six. Um, I'm gonna buy more because they come in so useful for everything and there's also a suggestion about using them as the inner for like as, as the cloth part of a cloth nappy and then you just put a waterproof layer over the top. So I might do that as well. But I'll have separate ones for wiping up spillages and separate ones for the nappies just because. Um, so yeah, I've got some of these because I'm well informed by quite a few friends who have children already that I will need these and I'll go through a lot of them. So these are all items that I have either had 
um, highly recommended or just items I was eyeing up. Um, and I'm actually going to unbox these. So we're going to start with the giraffe. Me and my husband have a long running joke about giraffes. Um, so baby had to get something giraffe related. And again, on one of these websites where they recommend items for baby, this particular giraffe comes highly recommended. So this is a, um, I was going to say a chew toy. <laughs> Technically it is a chew toy, um, just for babies rather than dogs. It's a baby chew toy. Um, and it's made out of natural rubber and it's from France. So it's Sophie Le Giraffe. I apologise for my French. Um, oh, do not sterilise. We advise you to wipe clean the surface of the toy with soapy water and a damp cloth. Um, and yeah, basically, watch out for when your child starts biting it too hard. Um, the dark and contrasting spots all over her body provides visual stimulation and make her easily recognisable to baby. She soon becomes a familiar and reassuring object. So that's sight, hearing. Oh god, it's got a squeaker. It literally is a chew toy for children. Her squeaker keeps baby amused, stimulates his hearing, and helps him understand the link between cause and effect. Taste, she is very flexible and has lots of parts for baby to chew. Ears, horns, legs. She's perfect for soothing baby sore gums when teething and is completely safe, made of 100% natural rubber and food paint. She is perfect for baby's small hands. She is very light and her long legs and neck are easy for baby to grip. She is very soft to touch, just like baby's mummy, stimulating, soothing uh, physiological and emotional responses. And smell, the singular scent of natural rubber from the uh, Vea tree makes her very special and easy for your child to identify amid all his other toys. So this is baby's first sensory development toy, stimulate each of baby's senses. So this does come like really highly recommended as being like, they're like, don't just um, get any old chew toy for your baby, get this one in particular. And I really don't think you're supposed to refer to them as chew toys. Sorry, that was quite loud, that opening. But yeah, I really don't think you're supposed to refer to them as chew toys, but that's what it is. So I'll be careful not to squeeze it since we've already established that it's a squeaky chew toy. I'm just going to put the box to the back of them. Yeah, I got the squeaker right there. So actually, yeah, she's a lot more flexible than I, um, than I realised. I thought it was going to be like a hard giraffe, but that's actually really soft. Um, and yeah, as I said, it comes highly recommended online. And then I also, um, a friend of mine also mentioned that one like her niece or nephew or something has got it and loves it. So, we have got a squeaky chew toy. What's this? Discover Sophie Le Giraffe, Le Giraffe collections. So there's like a birth basket gift, a blanket and Sophie combo. There's a four swaddle set, a two swaddle set. There's a giraffe comforter, 
sunsets and bath towels and things. So I've purposely though, like I got the giraffe because I know that that comes highly recommended as a chew toy and it was something I already had on my list and it was on special offer but I'm not buying any other like hooded bath towels or toys because I'm allowing people to get as them for, as gifts. Um, because I'm buying a lot of the essential things that we'll need and then I'm leaving it open for other people to buy as gifts and I actually, um, I had a gift voucher for John Lewis from our wedding um, which covered the cost of the giraffe and the grow clock so I actually messaged the person who gave us a gift voucher and was like, this is what we got, these items like this is what we got with the gift voucher um, that you provided and they were utterly delighted with the items that I'd sort of spent the gift voucher on they thought it was very appropriate, so now this grow clock is um, something that some friends of mine have for their children and it just it just makes wonderful sense to me. Um, the amazing sleep trainer for young children. Now obviously it will be a long time off before my child is at the sleep training stage. Um, but the idea being that this clock shows um, either a star or a sun on it depending on whether it's like awake time or sleep time. And this set came with a free storybook. Um, this company also does the grow bags. And um, so how does the grow clock work? You set the time you want your child to get up, then you explain that the stars will slowly disappear during the night. After the last star has gone, the sun will come up, then they can get up. No more popping in to ask, is it time to get up yet? With kids settled into a sleep pattern, they will feel happier and more energetic and a bit more, and, and with a bit more sleep, so will you. In bed an hour and a half later than usual, fantastic. Um, and I think also, so getting your toddler to sleep longer is as easy as one, read them sleepy farm, the free book included. Two, the stars slowly count down to keep them company if they awake in the night. And then three, they know it's time to get up when the sun comes up. You set wake up a time, adjustable brightness, key lock option, mains powered, adapter included, and suitable for two plus years. And I think it also acts as like a night light as well. So it's got a bit of a night light and like... There's also, you know, it also has an actual clock. I don't know. So it does actually tell you the actual time as well. So it means that when we're in the room, like as in me and my husband, then we, it's a, it's a clock for us. And then it's also, as I said, uh, a method for the baby to know whether it's wake up time or not. like baby mom. 
monitors until the child's quite old. Um, until I feel safe enough to remove a stair gate. And um, for the child to go up and down the stairs unsupervised. Um, and so yeah, this will be useful for us because then I know that the baby, by that point obviously it won't be a baby, it'll be a toddler. Um, when it's a baby it's you know, not going to be left unattended if it's needing something. Um, but the toddler can sort of see for themselves, oh, it's not, not time to wake up yet. And they know when the sun appears, they can shout on us and we'll come and get them. So, Sleepy Farm. A little book about animals having lots of fun. Charlie Chicken and Desmond Duck. Percy Pig. And the sun sets behind the hill in a wink. Turn your glow clock to nighttime mode now. The farm went still, and so you put the sun and then the moon. Oh, and there's all these things about um, <laughs> Brother Percy Pig's getting a really bad rep. The little children's book. Percy Pig is always grumpy and it's up to his friends, Oris, Ollie, Millie, Moo, Cow, Desmond Duck and Charlie Chicken to find out why and make him happier. A charming bedtime story with an important message, sleeping all night long and not getting up too early, makes everyone happy and full of energy. <laughs> That's quite cute and funny at the same time. Um, yeah, so that is the grow clock. As I said, I've seen I've seen it used in action and it's it is pretty good.
Pretty handy little set.
UK flu dances and US flu dances are slightly different. Um, but yeah, so you can little milk storage pots. And This 
soon.